Hi everybody, it's Miss Ingram and I'm back here with a hopefully quick video on uh, customizing your plans and unique learning. So I'm already logged into my account and I'm going to go ahead and click on my snowflake to get in. So the first way I want to show you to do this is um, how to remove things that you don't want if you decided to um, start out easy and just use the custom plan. Um, the first several months that I was using Unique Learning, I always just went with the suggested monthly plan. And for the longest time, I didn't know that I could actually remove things from the plan that we weren't ready for. I just kind of skipped over them. Um, but that can get really cluttered. So um, I can edit my monthly plans by um, going up here. I've already got a plan set here for intermediate. Um, right now, uh, they have unlocked access to all of the different grade bands, so you're automatically defaulting to preschool. Um, this should all go away um, come September 1st. You'll only see what you have a license for, um, but my plans are in intermediate because that's my license, so I'm going to check my intermediate box here. And so um, here is everything that um, I've got. So if you click on your little orange box, it's going to come up over here on the right and it's all the different individual things that are assigned. Um, so that's a lot for reading and maybe I don't want to do all this today. Um, so in order to remove something, this currently is a set. So if I want to keep my phonics but get rid of everything else, I'm going to click this little like paperclip looking thing right here um, and that's going to detach separate everything and so I don't want high frequency words I can then drag it over here to the trash can um, you see it go from um, dotted to solid and that means it's recognizing it and I can let go to delete yes I'm going to do the same thing with spelling I'm going to drag that over here and I've gotten rid of that so from that group all I've got left is phonics if I want to do the same thing here, I can separate these. Um, and I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to go delete it. Um, and so that's how you can take the suggested monthly plan and you can trim it down. In math, anytime you see the little exclamation, that means that you can configure that math. Um, they are very gracious to give you more math than you could possibly do in one day. Um, they give it all to us and we get to choose what we're ready for according to our students and the pacing for our district. So if you click on this little exclamation point, it's going to pop up everything that's um, assigned in the suggested plan. And so if you don't want something, you can just simply hit the little trash can and you can remove those act other activities that you don't want and set as configured. Um, and so that's how you can, you can trim it down. So that's how you remove. Now we're going to go back and I'm going to set my unit dates for September and I'm going to show you how to customize your plan. So I'm going to set my dates. I'm going to teach um, the September unit just for the month of September, so I'm going to stop on September 30th. Select dates to exclude. I'm going to ask it to exclude Labor Day because I don't know about you, but I do not plan on teaching Labor Day. Um, that's always great to remember. Um, if you've got a holiday, maybe a teacher work day, um, Maybe you've got a day that you're planning to do benchmarks all day and you're not going to be doing any new instruction. You can block those days. But also keep in mind, if you block the days from your plan, your students will not get lessons for that day. So um, I would only block out days that you, neither you nor your students um, are going to be doing any lessons. And we're taking Labor Day off. So what I already showed you was if you want to do it based on the suggested monthly plan, um, you're going to leave the default checked. Um, I've gotten to where I like to do my plan empty and add content manually. Um, I think especially since we've gone to the distance learning, 
I've kind of streamlined uh, what I assign every day. Um, in the classroom, I do a little bit more, but um, trying to make things as uh, easy for my parents and students as possible until we're back together. So now that I've set my dates, I want to come over here and I want to edit my monthly plan because I know that it's blank. So I'm going to skip forward and I'm going to get to September. And again, it's defaulted back to preschool. So I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to go to intermediate. And you're going to see I've got my box here um, for reading, but I've got nothing in it. So I'm going to hit my plus sign. And I know that I want sight words. We are going to start off strong reviewing our sight words. So I'm going to add a lesson activity. And I'm going to go to lesson seven for the high frequency words. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to check this box that I want those sight, word um, sight words to show up. So I've got my sight words. And we're also going to start off with um, reviewing our letters. So letter activity mats. Again, I'm going to get a lesson activity. And I'm going to come down here to lesson 10, the letters and sounds. There are different activities. Um, you're just they can click on the letters and get the letter sounds but I'm looking for the review the letter sound mats I'm gonna check this score is new attempt I always like to do this so that way if the students um, come back in from day to day it's gonna refresh it for them uh, it also allows if I want them to be able to go in and maybe practice for a couple days while they're learning um, and then I set a day that I'm going to assess, it's automatically going to refresh and give them a clean slate when they go in for that assessment day. So I've got that checked and I can hit save. So I've put in what I want for reading, but I wanted this to go all week. I want them to have access to this all week. So instead of having to go in there and put it every day, pull up those activities, uh, you have the boxes checked for what you want and you can just set a range. So I want these to go from today um, and I want, you know what, we're going to do these for two weeks. For two weeks we're going to have the sight words and the letter activity mats. So I'm going to go ahead and set that through the 11th and this goes in my reading and language arts block so I'm going to check that and I'm going to hit save. And now if I go to my month view, you're going to see that for September, I have got stuff all the way through. I've got those two items in reading and language arts starting September 1st, going all the way through September 11th. There they are. Now you will see um, right here, you'll see something pop up on Sunday. One thing to remember with the online learning is, again, your students are only going to have activities assigned on the days um, that are in your schedule. So you cannot put lessons on a day that's not in your schedule. So when I set up my schedule, let me go back to my account and my schedules. I went ahead and added Sunday and Saturday to my schedule for reading. So that way if I have a student who um, maybe their parents working and they just can't get to everything during the week, but you know, mom's off on Saturday and she'd really like to be able to review with him on Saturday, by adding Saturday and Sunday here, I can copy those lessons into Saturday and Sunday really easily and make those lessons available for um, my student and his parent um, through their student login. So I'm not teaching Saturday and Sunday, but they're welcome to have access to the materials and review. Um, so if that's something that you have parents requesting, it's as simple as that. Just come into your schedule, um, add those days to your schedule, and you're good. Um, anytime you make an adjustment to your schedule, 
you will need to recreate your plan, your monthly plan in order for um, lessons to populate to those days. And so if you have something like that happen, um, just come over here, click on change date, and you have the option to delete your plan and do it again. Um, you don't want to do that too many times, so uh, try to make sure you've got your schedule in um, before you do this. But I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, uh, subscribe and email me and I would be glad to try and help you out. Hope you have a great year. Bye.